Hi, this is Mark Harrison, and you may know me from my various music instruction books or my work at the Grove School of Music here in Los Angeles. This lesson is about country piano styles, and we'll be previewing some material out of my country piano book, which you may have seen in your local stores or perhaps in your library. A lot of country songs use fairly straightforward chord progressions, for example, something like this. If I'm in the key of C, I might have a one chord, which is C major. Then, for example, moving to a six minor chord, that would be A minor in this key. Notice that my right hand is using inversion, so I went from a C major triad to an A minor triad, but in first inversion, that enabled me to keep in the same region of the keyboard. We might then go to a four chord, which is F major in this key. Again, staying in the same region on the piano, this time by playing a second inversion, F major triad, C, F, A, bottom to top, and after that I might go to a G major chord, okay, and this time in first inversion. If I just play those simple chords um, with a straightforward rhythm pattern, it might sound like this. time to add a little country to that sound. So instead of just playing the triads as uh, basic uh, whole notes, we'll use a pattern I call in my books alternating eighths. What that means is we're splitting the notes in the triad up according to an eighth note rhythmic pattern. It'll sound like this. One and two and three and four and, for example, on the C major chord. The lowest note of the chord, in this case C on the C major chord, is being played on all the upbeats, that's to say the ends between the 1, 2, 3, and 4 respectively, and the upper notes of the triad, in this case E and G, are being played on the back beats, that's beats 2 and 4 in the typical 4-4 four, four measure. So in total we're getting 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, then if I were to continue that type of idea on the A minor chord I played just a few moments ago, it might sound like this. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So if I uh, use that idea over the entire chord progression, we would have a sound like this. Okay, now also I was doing a little extra stuff in the left hand. I was using a root and fifth pattern, again very common in simple country styles. That is to say on the C chord I played the root on beat 1, which is C, and then I went to the fifth of the chord, which is the note G, on beat 3 of the measure. That then led into the root of the F major chord on beat 1 of the following measure, and so forth. Okay, so another uh, classic country technique that we get into in the country piano book um, is a technique called walk-ups and walk-downs. What that basically means is that if, we're, if we have a song, for example, connecting between a one chord, let's say again in C, this would be C major, to a four chord, that would be F in C major, there are certain techniques we can use to connect between those, called walk up and walk down respectively. So it basically starts out with a bass line. So let's uh, start with a simple left hand bass line um, and then demonstrating this walk up idea. Here we go. of C major there when I was doing the root to the fifth like I did earlier, but then in order to connect up to the F chord I went C twice, then D to E, then up to F. Now, a common technique in the right hand is to play a moving interval above that bass note. For example, um, the interval of a tenth is very common. So above the C I might play an E up here, which is a tenth interval, also known as an octave plus a third. Above the D, I'll play the F. Above the E, I'll play the G. And then finally above the F, I'll play the A. So you have this rather pleasant sound of what we call moving tense. Now together with all that, we can add what's called a drone note, which is a repeated top note against these other harmonies. In this case, I have a drone note of C 
connecting the C chord to the F chord. So adding that note, we get a fuller sound. I'm sure you'll recognize that pattern from a great many country songs. Okay, so finally let me try and integrate that into our previous alternating eighth note pattern. Um, this time you'll notice some of the triad voicings on the right hand I'm playing octaves. So I'm doubling the top note uh, with the thumb of the right hand to give a fuller sound. Here we go. Okay, well that's a little preview of some of the uh, country piano techniques. There's of course much more uh, to work on in the Country Piano book. Um, for information on all of our books, including Country Piano, uh, please check out our website. That's at harrisonmusic.com. Also, if you're interested in online private lessons, that's something I do a lot of, uh, and this is the view that you would see from me uh, in the uh, online lessons. And again, for more information on the lessons too, please check out the website. Once again, this is Mark Harrison, and thanks very much for watching.